Let's get into it. NASA has just released a full set of brand new images of the interstellar comet 3I Atlas captured by eight different spacecraft across the solar system. And the crazy part is every camera saw something slightly different. This is our clearest look yet at an object that came from outside our solar system. So let's break down what NASA's missions saw, what the images actually tell us, and what it means for the mystery around 3i Atlas. Here's where NASA's story starts. SOHO spotted 3i Atlas as a faint brightening against a noisy background. Not much detail, just a tiny glow. But this confirmed the coma was active and the object wasn't dormant. It was the first sign that the object was still venting gas. Next up, MAVEN orbiting Mars got this ultraviolet view. What you're looking at is hydrogen escaping from the comet. The bright core marks the nucleus, and the expanding blue shades show the hydrogen cloud spreading tens of thousands of miles around it. This is classic comet behavior. Sunlight hits the object, heats the ice, and releases hydrogen. Nothing exotic, just physics doing its thing. This one is wild. MAVEN separated hydrogen sources by velocity, Mars, interplanetary hydrogen, and the comet itself. That tiny blob on the left? That's 3i Atlas moving at tens of kilometers per second relative to Mars. This confirms the comet's motion cleanly. No strange accelerations, no anomalies, just a fast visitor passing through. Yes, NASA's Mars rover actually photographed it. From the surface of another planet, 3i Atlas appears as a tiny moving smudge this helps scientists triangulate the comet's position and refine its orbit with incredible precision. It also marks the first time a Mars rover has ever imaged an interstellar object. HiRISE is one of the sharpest cameras ever sent to another planet, and it locked onto the comet when it was about 19 million miles away. You can see the bright coma and a slight feathering in the direction of travel. No sign of fragmentation, no second object, just a stable nucleus plowing through space. The scale bar puts the coma around 900 miles across. NASA's Lucy spacecraft caught the coma and a faint gas tail drifting to the right. Even though Lucy was 240 million miles away, the tail still shows up. This confirms outgassing and directional flow exactly what you'd expect from a comet heating up near the sun. Punch saw something especially interesting, a short, clean tail plus daily motion across the sky. The tail is small but consistent, again matching normal comet behavior. Stars streak because the telescope is tracking the comet itself. This colorized stereo image shows 3i Atlas as a fuzzy bright orb against a textured background. The fuzziness is the coma. The brightness means the comet was more active than expected at that phase. Psyche, the mission heading to a metal-rich asteroid, caught the comet over 8 hours from 33 million miles away. This one is key. It shows the coma clearly and it helps astronomers pin down the exact orbit of the comet far better than Earth-based telescopes can. This is how NASA reduces uncertainty in the comet's path. Here's the thing. With all these images combined, the picture of 3i Atlas is suddenly much clearer. The nucleus is intact. The coma is active. The tail is small but stable. Hydrogen outflow matches a natural comet. Multi-mission tracking confirms the orbit. No fragmentation, no weird propulsion, no anomalies. It's behaving like a comet 
just one that came from another star system. NASA just released the biggest set of interstellar comet images we've ever had, captured from every angle you can imagine, Mars, orbiters, rovers, Psyche, Lucy, Soho, Stereo, punch the whole fleet. And here's the thing, this is only the first wave. The high precision processing hasn't even dropped yet. Now about the rumors, NASA didn't dodge the topic. They directly addressed the buzz about the comet being artificial. They said the data shows no signs of anything engineered, no unusual accelerations, no structured shapes, no signals, just a comet, but a comet that looks chemically different from the ones we grew up with. Are they hiding something? From what's public right now, there's no smoking gun. Everything matches the physics of a natural comet, but I get why people are watching closely. It's only the third interstellar object we've ever seen, and the rest of the data is still coming down. So yeah, let's keep an open mind. If something odd shows up in the next releases, we're going to see it. Stay tuned, stay curious, and I'll break down every new image as it lands.